Uh, name's Chris Jenkins from Dundas, Virginia. The Jeep's a uh, M38A1, one of 500, 1963 model. It's a Marine Corps model Jeep, positive traction front and rear. Uh, as far as knowing what I had, I bought it, then found out that it was a rare Jeep. It's been an interesting project, a group effort several of us working on it my daughter doing small things when we were overhauling the engine and doing the upholstery work and help from my brother and friends and tj overby and tim jenkins as far as getting it restored and painted and a friend of mine john winslow who's passed away that did all the paint work on it and as far as wanting one i've wanted one since i was 16 years old and could drive and i finally managed to see this one and I purchased it basically for my daughter as an investment for her college tuition. And we've been working on them ever since. It's a lot of fun. Uh, as my daughter says, anxiety attack for women and adrenaline rush for men as we're climbing these hills and mountains out here. It's a lot of fun, different experience. But uh, work on it, play with it. Hole in the ground, you throw money in, probably, but uh, hopefully a good investment later on. As far as the Jeep, I've got a little bit further to go. The decals, the proper engine components, and a new set of tires because up here on these hills, these are getting a little bit slick. But uh, we've had the Jeep. I think I've had a Jeep eight years now. Started out as a rescue Jeep from the Edenton, North Carolina Fire Department. And it had a blown engine and an elderly gentleman that was a neighbor of mine, Worth Hare, purchased a Jeep, but he never could get it running. And he finally put it up for sale and I couldn't stand it anymore. I stopped by and talked to him and he sold it to me for a really good price with a blown motor. And we went and started working on it from there. But uh, it was all bright red and EMS colors so we painted it back to the uh, marine green or semi-gloss OD green that was the last thing I did last thing Mr. Winslow did before he passed away he restored it for me or the outsides we did the insides so one of the last 500 M38 A1s that were ordered by the marines they couldn't get the 151s in the time period, the Army was gobbling up just about everything from what I've been told. So the Marines went back and ordered one, uh, the M30A1s to supplement their need for the Jeep or small quarter ton vehicle. This one is rare in the aspect that it has locking front and rear differentials. It has a different air filter. It's made to use the same air filter as the 151. It has aluminum data plates instead of the regular brass and the reinforcements under the rear of the Jeep instead of a 30 caliber machine gun the Marines mounted a 50 caliber in it which is a mighty big gun for a small Jeep and the lifting shackles on the corners it's made to be air transportable or either lifted on a ship and one or two other little details I can't remember now. My friend John could have quoted them all off one right after the other because he was always interested in the Marine Corps models.